Hello, Boston World. Welcome to Boxing Block Center. Deontay Water has stated that he is only focused on Tyson Fury rematch and possibly defending his title against Brazil. Nest saying that he is not interested in the Anthony Joshua fight when he got interviewed. At the Charlo versus Kobolov showdown. Well, Tion Tawada also reacted to the Derek Chisler and Dylan White rematch, which ended in a brutal knockout. Dylan White, he's a guy that has impressed me a lot, you know, with his boxing ability. And I think Deontay Wanna wants no smoke with Dillian White. <laughs> but the fight I want to see is Joshua fight. I mean, I want to see Water fight Joshua next. I don't want to see Water fight during Brazil. If he does not fight Tyson Fury, then there is no excuse for him not to fight Joshua next. Because during Brazil looked very poor. Last night, I mean, he looked poor. He looked poor. Let's let's keep it real, guys. Let's keep it real. He looked poor, you know, and he was getting tagged by Carlos Negron. I didn't like what I saw from during Brazil. I mean, I like Brazil as a fighter, and I like him. I like Brazil. He's a very nice person, well spoken, you know, very cool, calm, collective, gentleman like. But he knows that inactivity made him look poor yesterday. You know, he's not act. He was, I mean, he should he should be active. Normally, fighters has to be active. But I don't know why a lot of the PBC fighters don't get to fight regularly. You know, they fight once in a while, which is strange. Everybody gives Eddie Hearn sticks. Everybody say Eddie Hearn is a snake, but you cannot deny the fact that Eddie Hearn fighters are always active and improving. You know, just look at Dylan White, for example. Dylan White has been active, you know, improving in his game. So Deontay Water don't want Joshua fight. He wants to test a free fight or to defend his title against uh, Dominic Brazil. Uh, Brazil looked poor, and like I said before, I wouldn't want to see that fight next. I mean, who's going to be very happy to see that fight right now? I Me, I'm not, because in Brazil it needs to have a couple of more fights, you know, before it gets in the ring with water, because if it gets in the ring with water now, believe me, it's going to be brutal. The water is going to, you know, hurt him so bad, so... Dominic Brazil has to have like two, three or more fights. Just just to stay active and work, work on certain things that he has to work on. Because I did not see any jab from him yesterday. No jab. No um, no head movement. You know, against water, he's going to have to move his head. You know, he just... Wanted to brawl with Carlos Negron and yeah, but Don Brazil is still in my top fifteen, you know, and he's a he's a he's a he's a very good fighter to be sincere. He's a good good fighter. He has he has a hell of one hell of a chin. So what a one no small with Joshua, saying that he's focused on testing for every match. And Water wanted about Water. Why does he always divert questions when asked a simple question? You just answer directly. Instead, Water keep diverting questions. The same with Shelly Finko. Shelly Finko does the same thing. When asked a direct question, he just diverted. You know, only when it suits them, they won't speak straight and talk direct. But when they are being caught in a lie, they seem to want to divert the questions. But anyway, like you already know, Water 
say he doesn't want to fight Joshua Nest, that he's not even looking to fight Joshua Nest. It might happen, it might not happen, but there's no guarantee. So I think Joshua should move on. Move over, fight Dylan White, or fight someone else who's ready to fight you. Because Deontay Water don't want no smoke with you. And if Deontay Water does not fight Tassifiri Nest, he's going to have a lot of, you know, questions to answer. And get a lot of stick from me as well, from all the old boxing fans, because we want to see the Joshua fight. I want to see the Joshua fight. Stop playing politics and let's get the fight done. Stop trying to price yourself out. Stop trying to, you know, trying to get as much money as you want. You know what you're worth, so your what is your what. So if you don't want it, then let it be. Just say it. Because we want to see this fight. I want to see the Undisputed King in 2019 so that we can all stop debating and arguing about who is the best, who is number one, who is that. Just look at, for example, Olesana Usyk. He's the Undisputed Cruiserweight King of the whole universe. Meaning, Undisputed. No one can say where Usyk isn't the best. He is. You understand what I mean? So... I want to see something like that. I want. I know Joshua can become an experienced. I just don't know if Deontay Water is willing to step in the ring with the unified everweight king of the whole universe after that poor performance against the Fury. You might say, where well, he wasn't poor, he got he got uh, Tyson Fury knocked down twice. Well, yeah, but boxing wise, he was poor, and he knows that. He didn't have a plan B. And they didn't get to the jab. Wasn't using, it was just, wasn't using, using his jab more. It was always swinging around the ring and all that stuff. But I don't know. We always say he will improve, he will improve. When will he improve? Like, he's been pro for 10 years. When will he improve? I don't know. So... Anyway, guys, uh, I just think Joshua and White would be next, and that fight would be very uh, interesting to you know to watch as well. If Water don't want it, Joshua has to move on. But hopefully, Water wants it, and hopefully, if he doesn't fight Joshua next, he gets to fight Tyson Fury. If they want to do the stalling tactics again, then it means the Fury fight might not happen. Tyson Fury's trainer has already suggested that Water should go in against uh, Anthony Joshua. That's the logical thing to do. Become a disputed if you think you can knock Joshua out, knock him out, and go fight Tyson Fury. But I don't think Deontay Water is as confident as his fans are. You know, looking at his fans, a lot of his fanboys are very confident Water will knock Joshua out. But when it comes to putting those words to work, you know, it becomes a problem. So what do you guys think? What should Unified King and Joshua do if the underwater don't want to smoke with him? Should he fight Dylan White? Should he fight Husik? Should he fight, fight Big Baby Miller in America? Give it to us below. Like the video, share and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys cheers everyone
Sim, meu força.